Human papillomavirus, or HPV, is the leading cause of cervical cancer, which affects approximately 12,000 women in the United States every year. Fortunately, with adherence to regular cervical cancer screenings, precancerous lesions can be detected before they progress to cervical cancer. The American Cancer Society recommends that women ages 30 to 65 be screened with a pap test, which directly examines cervical cells, and an HPV test, which detects the HPV virus that causes cervical lesions. Screening with PAP plus HPV together, also known as co-testing, provides a two-pronged approach to detecting cervical disease by testing for both HPV gene expression and the presence of abnormal cervical cells. Let's explore how PAP and HPV tests complement one another to detect cervical lesions. PAP and HPV testing can be performed on the same sample, there is no need for multiple collections or multiple visits. In fact, the Thin Prep PAP test is the only FDA-approved collection medium for all HPV tests. After a sample is collected, a portion of the sample is used for the PAP test and is viewed under a microscope to identify abnormal cells. PAP test results are classified according to the presence and amount of abnormal cells found in the sample. PAP testing can sometimes detect endometrial or ovarian cancers, which are not detected by an HPV test. PAP testing may also detect cervical cancers that might be missed by a DNA-based HPV test due to L1 deletion and reductions in episomal HPV DNA following integration into the genome of infected cells. A portion of the same sample can be processed for HPV testing in parallel with a PAP test. There are two types of high-risk HPV tests. DNA-based tests and mRNA-based tests. Because HPV DNA levels may decrease as infections progress toward cancer, some HPV DNA tests may provide false negative results in more than 10% of the most severe cervical disease cases. The Aptima HPV assay is an mRNA-based test designed to detect HPV E6, E7 mRNA. Studies have shown mRNA identifies the presence and activity of a high-risk HPV infection. mRNA-based screening provides the same excellent sensitivity as DNA-based screening, but offers increased specificity, which results in 24% reduction in false positives. PAP testing also results in fewer false negative results compared with HPV testing alone, and provides an additional measure of reassurance. Screening with PAP plus HPV together for women ages 30 to 65 provides better detection of cervical disease than screening with either test alone. Combining the two tests can improve disease detection to nearly 100%. Because of the additional reassurance provided by screening with PAP plus HPV together, it is the preferred cervical screening strategy recommended by the American Cancer Society, the American Society for Colposcopy and Cervical Pathology, the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, and the American Society for Clinical Pathology.